Two times A and B are moving in opposite direction. Their speeds being in the ratio of 5 is to 3. The front end of A cross the rear end of B 4 to 6 seconds after the front end of the train had crossed each other. Very interesting. So let's say this is A. A and B speeds in the ratio of 5 is to 3. Let's say this is B. Nice. Front end of A crosses the rear end of B 46 seconds. So this crosses over. The front end crosses the rear end. So we go to some place like this. And this is the rear end of C. From this state to this state, it takes 46 seconds. Very interesting. 46 seconds to go from this phase to this phase. Right? So, from the front to front to front end crosses the rear end of C. So, this is the engine of C. So, some smoke coming out. Right? So, this takes 46 seconds. It took another 69 seconds for the rear ends of the trains to cross each other. Another 69 seconds for this to go completely here. to go like that and 46 seconds to go from this state to this state another 69 to go from this state to this state okay. very interesting so train A this is train B so train A crosses and goes beyond the front end of the train A is here and front end of train A is at the rear end or the relative distance covered from this phase to this phase this is length of train B from here to here, from this rear end goes completely there. So front to rear, to rear to rear. This phase, the distance covered is LA. The first phase, the relative distance covered is length of train B. The second phase, distance, relative distance covered is length of train A. From here to here, front to front, and then front to back. So train A, is at the beginning of train B, it goes all the way to end of train B. Relative distance, beginning to end, length of train B. Here, train A, the front to back, to back to back. The back goes all the way here. So the distance travelled is length of train A. So here the relative distance travelled is length of train B. Here the relative distance travelled is length of train A. This takes 46 seconds. This takes another 69 seconds so we want to do LA is to LB 69 is to 46 the speeds relative speeds are the same they're going in the opposite direction the distance covered will mean the ratio of the times taken the longer distance will take longer time this took 69 seconds took only 46 length of train A to that of train B is 69 is to 46 which is 3 is to 2 yep this time Beautiful question because the idea is to grab what exactly is the relative distance. 